Hi Austin, um, you're looking to either update or you're trying to install the drivers for the first time. I'm not sure which, but first way I'll show you here is um, click on start and go to computer, right click computer and go to manage. Now your user account control will ask you, do you want the f to allow the following programs to make changes to the computer? Click yes. And then you'll have computer management open. So on this left panel here, click on device manager. And this is all the drivers that are in your computer. The important ones anyway. So if there's no um, little black arrows beside any of them, then or um, yellow exclamation marks or anything like that. I'm not sure which operating system you're using. This is Windows 7. So if you could tell me what um, operating system you're using, that would be great. And I'd be able to tell you exactly. But on most Windows computers, the, the, the computer management screen will be the same as this anyway. So you'd be able to follow it from here. So the first one that is important is your, um, your chipset driver. And you'll find the chipset driver under system devices here so tick on the arrow there beside it and you'll see a whole load of drivers open up now what you need here to find out which one is the chipset driver you have to have the model number of your motherboard and this one is a Z68 Express chip family and it's from Intel so this is the chipset controller for this motherboard so to update it, you right click and just go update driver software. When you click on that, well, one other thing, make sure that you are connected to the internet before you do this. Well, um, maybe a better way is to go into properties first. This little um, window will open. So you go to the second tab there, the drivers, and you go, you can see update driver. And this is the, the chipset family, the Intel chipset. This is the, basically the controller for your motherboard. It controls all the buses and all that kind of stuff on your, and anything that's connected to your motherboard is controlled through this chipset family. So it's basically the North and the South bridge, which is a little chip on your, on your um, motherboard. So click on update drivers, and then you go, click on the search automatically for up uh, for updated driver software just click on that guy and now it's going to go out online to where it can find the intel chipset the z68 for my board yours will be slightly different and it'll see whether it needs to be updated or not so it's come back and said windows has determined that the driver software for your device is up to date. So this is in my case, now yours might be different. And another thing is, if you haven't installed them at all, but your computer wouldn't work unless they were installed, so. Now, the other one that is important would be the display adapters. This one can give you trouble too. Now, it depends on whether it's, the graphics are internally built into your motherboard or you have a graphics card either way it'll still be under um, display adapters so again just double click on it to open this window and just check to see is it working properly and you can update the driver here just clicking that lad okay now we'll go out onto asus website and I'll just show you for my motherboard what what um what chips where to find the chips the the, the chipset and the graphics card drivers okay so I just go to Asus 
again this could be slightly different for you just click on asus there i'll take it you're in america so i'll just i'll use the american one um, so we want to support now at this stage it'll probably ask you for a uh, motherboard so download drivers and bias you see this guy here manuals and firmware click on download now model name search this is where you type in your model of your motherboard so this is a P8 said 68 dash V L X there's a space between the V and the LX there but again it'll be different for yours so click on search and you'll give them one option which is the model board of what I've typed in there Now, required here is the operating system you're using. So if you're using Windows 8 or 8.1, then 32-bit and 64-bit, you'll find that information under um, computer, click computer, right-click computer and go to properties. And it'll tell you what um, system type you have so 64-bit operating system okay so mine is a Windows 7 64-bit and now we can go and search for the drivers and they should all come up here it's not showing oh there it is right so this is all the um, drivers that you, you need to be aware of so the chipset for my motherboard which is this guy here what you do is you download it from there's the three options to download it the global is probably the the best way to do it DLMA I think you have to pay for that service not entirely sure of that but the global one will, will will download it and then once you have it downloaded it will um, give you the instructions just click on it once you have it downloaded and it'll start the process for you and then it's just a, a matter of following the instructions okay so that's the chipset one and the graphics then would be um, VGA here so Intel VGA so this this these uh, this driver now is, is is for the actual motherboard now if you have a graphics card that's plugged into your motherboard you have to go to that website of the make the 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 manufacturer of of your mother your graphics card so this is for the um the the, the motherboard graphics okay and it works off your um, processor again just download it and follow the instructions okay i hope that's helped they're the two most important ones you don't need to update bias utilities or anything like that unless the motherboard is really old I wouldn't download these they be very careful with them the bias this guy here actually sorry um once you download it make sure that your computer um will not to shut down during the process because if it does it can cause a problem it, it'll give you the instructions anyway with that if you want to um download the, the bias i'll be doing a video on that um later on you uh, this month so stay tuned for that um that's basically it now if it is a thing that you're just after building your computer and you want to download all these and put it onto your computer then you go down through them all here 
don't need the bias that'll be already uninstalled in your motherboard the chipset you'll need the audio you'll need the graphics card drivers you'll need and the this is your um, network your your internet the real tech driver for the ethernet you'll need that as well if you don't have it already but obviously when you're able to go out online and do ask me a question you, you must have it there so and utilities these are just um it's a they call it ai charger here so it's it's just a monitoring software okay utilities and your sata drivers they'd have to be downloaded okay and the manual yeah you you, you you should actually download that as well because um that would give you all the information that i'm talking about here anyway you know so if you don't have it downloaded as well okay and the usb of course you, you'll have to if you again if you haven't any of these already if your computer is working fine and you're just worried about updating drivers then by all means check the, the um, chipset and the graphics card one but leave the rest of them you don't you, you don't need to be updating them you can check for updates as i said through device manager anyway so and that is the the, the best way to do it is this way here okay so your display adapter on computer management and then under systems and that's basically the only two that you really need to make your computer work properly okay i hope this has helped you okay see you austin